today at the PPMA Show 2017. We're asking the question, what will you bag? <laughs> Here to help answer that question is Andy from Automated Packaging Systems. Andy, thanks for joining us. Uh, tell me, this is, uh, this is the Autobag 550. Love the name. Uh, just chat me through the product. Okay, so the Autobag brand has been with Automated Packaging since it started uh, back in 1962 in the USA. Uh, we came to the UK in 1984 and quickly established a, a basis for business here with Autobag and developed through Europe. Uh, during that time, we provided bagging machines which um, served a variety of applications, industries from bearings, bolts, screws, washers, electrical sockets, plumbing fittings, um, which are all used and packed on a, a, a bagging machine, very typically like this one here, AB550. Um, this is used um, to actually handle auto bags on a reel, and the concept is that we take people who are doing 200 bags an hour and move them to 600 bags an hour sometimes uh, and other times where we take them from doing 250 bags an hour on some other kit to 2,000 bags an hour. So we have a family of machines that are designed for the next step up from hand packing. Let's see some uh, bagging in action. This one is uh, uh, you're, you're using a foot pedal and here we go. Okay so we're printing a fairly complex label here just to show you what a 200 DPI printer is capable of. And the idea is that the operator's got two hands free to load a product into a bag. We're printing some text, barcodes, graphic, direct on a bag here. And that's what we're seeing just here. You've got some black film that reminds me of the old printer ribbons back from the <laughs> impact printer days. Yeah, absolutely. It's a thermal transfer printer. Uh, we've got a four inch wide printer uh, head on this and we've got ribbon on here. And if you're printing an impression, which is about uh, one inch uh, in depth, then you're going to get over 20,000 impressions out of this one reel of uh, material on here. Very good. Now you've got some new products launching here at uh, PPMA show. I mean, there's certainly one that I saw earlier on. Yes, indeed we do, yeah. Let me talk you through them. Um, so we've got um, an AB550 here, uh, AB500 machine here, sorry. And on the end here we've got uh, an 850S mail order bagging machine. So I'm now. just going to ask my colleagues to quickly sh shift out of the way here. <laughs> Um, so it's, a, it's a popular machine, what can we say? Now, to, to, just to kind of pre what you're going to say, mail order, that's a growing industry. Yeah. Um, so you're kind of responding to the market need in that respect. Yeah, our, our heritage is in auto bags and um, our core business has been in auto bag for many, many years. We've taken that technology of next bag out printing that you just saw in the 550 and we've incorporated it into a bigger machine which we're using to service the mail order fulfillment market. So some of the high street names that you'll be familiar with will use this in their warehouse facilities. So when you place your order online today, it will be prepared in store for click and collect tomorrow. Well, let's, let's take a look at this machine because uh, I, I saw it operational a few moments ago. Can we uh, see it again, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we've got concept here, auto bags joined by perforations. You put your product into the, into the bag. It could be um, a box of uh, shoes. It could be a T-shirt or a pair of socks. Um, the machine is actually taking the bag, closing it and sealing it. Um, it's feeding the next bag forward and off we go again. And again, we've got the whole printing thing happening here as well, thermal transfer. Correct, exactly that. So we're closing the bag up here and actually we've preloaded some labels here. Um, but as I cycle through this uh, machine here, um, what you'll see is that the machine is now waiting and saying, OK, who's the next order for? Right. So at this point, I'm literally, if I were on the line in a, in a retailer warehouse, and effectively I'll be scanning the order, they'll be printing the individual's name and address direct onto that bag. Okay. You load the order into that bag, cycle the machine to seal it. The product then fits onto an outfeed conveyor and it's good, ready for dispatch through the through the postal network. Catherine Douglas in Dorset. I'm afraid you're getting a big bag of nothing in the post coming very, very shortly indeed. Um, let's, let's take a wander around here because there's kind of one more element that I want to cover today on the automated packaging system booth. Um, and obviously not everything we get in the post is in a, in a plastic wrap bag like that. Sometimes they're coming in boxes and you get the little bits of, I guess, posh bubble wrap um, yeah. to keep the goods safe and secure. Talk me through your geotech and what's special about that. Okay, so this is part of our air pouch uh, range and um, probably about seven or eight years ago we started to move into this area of void fill protective packaging. Uh, we quickly found it's highly competitive. Yeah. Most people don't want to pay much for their packaging uh, for goods they receive through the post here, but they want them protected. So during our manufacturing process we offer a total systems approach on all of our systems mm -hmm. and inevitably when we're making bags we produce scrap and waste. Yeah. 
what we choose to do is take that scrap and that waste and put it back into our process, uh, our extrusion process, and produce a product called Geotech. So this pouch you see here is made up of 95% plus reprocessed material. And that's stuff that once upon a time elsewhere might just have been thrown away. Could have been, yeah. A while ago could have ended up in a landfill site somewhere. Yeah. Uh, somebody could have chosen to recycle it for plastic patio furniture or something. Okay. But we decided to actually take it and use it for our own product. And actually it's been really popular. Uh, if you look at the UK market within our customer base, 40% of everything we sell at the moment is geotech. Speaking of posh bubble wrap, uh, go with me on this one because I love popping bubbles on bubble wrap. It's one of the joys of buying things through the post, if you ask me. Forget the actual product that I bought. This here is, is really exciting. Talk me through your air pouch fast wrap. Okay, so this is our fast wrap machine. This takes um, flat material and it produces what we call bubble on demand. So historically... BOD for short. BOD, of course, yeah. Um, historically, people like squeezing uh, the bubble wrap, bit of therapy. Um, this product actually allows you to produce it in a factory rather than storing lots of that stuff in valuable warehouse space. Um, but what we have here is a channel and we fill that channel with air and we seal it and we trap the air in the bag and we're making it. I'll just demonstrate here. So the machine's just warming up and it'll just start to feed the material through, inflate it, and it'll come off the end. So we're taking flat film here, we're taking it, we're filling it with air, we're sealing it, and cooling it down before it's ready to use to wrap around a product. Now, the good thing about it is it's made from reprocessed material again, so it's environmentally friendly. The bad thing about it is you can't pop it. What? What? I was going to say, this is almost watching this get um, created and blown up is almost as satisfying as popping bubble wrap. That was so much fun to watch. Well, you can squeeze it, but you can't pop it because the chambers are joined. They're not individual bubbles. The benefit of that is that when your products are going through the post, that you can displace the air in there when it's being moved through the courier networks and you still maintain protection around the product. So I guess in terms of protection and product efficiency, it makes perfect sense that it doesn't pop, but I'm still a little bit disappointed, Andy. Maybe next year you can come back with a product that does let me pop it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, we'll try. Um, listen, uh, talk to me before we go, uh, just about PPMA show, what kind of conversations you're having, how it's working out for you? Yeah, it's been really busy. I mean, we're a PPMA stalwart. We come every year. Uh, for as long as I've been with the company, 22 years we've been coming here. Uh, the footfall so far has been really impressive. Uh, this morning and, uh, and into this afternoon. So we're hoping that continues the rest of today and tomorrow. And all in all, we hope to have a good show. Brilliant. I hope you have a good show too. Andy, thank you so much for showing us around all your great products here at Automated Packaging Systems. Cheers. Thank you.